But 12 years ago, I remembered on Kim and I did uh, the DIY dish, right? Yes. And I. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, yeah. She knows. <laughs> yeah, she knows. And um, there was a project we did that was actually quite fun. And I thought, you know what? I'll, I'll share that again. And so I have to give a shout out to Miss Peggy, who's in customer service. Oh, yes. Because she's so awesome. She is I was awesome. like, Peggy. I'm, I need a huge favor. Can you put this together for me? She says, Chris, how hard is it? And I was like, no, I promise it's not hard. And it wasn't. She did a phenomenal job. And so shout out to Peggy who put yes. this, together, this little thing together for me because I do have a picture. So now if you had to hold while you were on the customer service line, <laughs> <laughs> it would be Chris's fault, right? Yeah. So oh. um, it was, let me bring up a picture. Some of you may remember this. Oh, it was a garland for the 4th of July barbecue. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Do you love that? Yes. And super simple. And basically it is what you're doing is you're creating a vinyl pocket. That's it. That's and so then cute. adding some ribbons and rickrack. I and thought it was going to be a gift things. card pocket for me. Oh, really? At no. my desk. Oh, at your desk? Yes. Well, I certainly could put it there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just hang this up at Allison's desk, right? Well, so there this, was a sign hanging the at my desk today. Allie made it for me. What did it say? Maybe swearing will help. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it, you really want that to be the case, don't you? Yes, never does. Well, no. kind of it does. <laughs> okay, so my next thing is go. going to be. So here we go. Look how cute. Uh, here we go. So here's a little sample. Okay, oh, you can make so this cute. as big as you want. And oh, Elisa, oh, that Elisa, I tell you what, that would be awesome with family pictures. I would hang that in the house. That oh, would cute. that would you be cute. You could swap them out. Exactly. So this is um, little vinyl pockets that you're going to put at your next barbecue and you have all the utensils. So this is the thing that drives me crazy. First world problems. I know. Um, but one of the things that's when you have a barbecue and a big potluck is where do you put all the utensils? Because the they napkins, take so the straws, much like, space. They take up a lot of space, yes. right? Yep. So if you have something like this that can hang up so as a banner, cute. then you have stuff for your utensils. We put napkins in one. We put straws in another. Um, it would be darling to put um, corn on the cob little holders okay. in it if you wanted to do that. Right. Um, um, lots of ideas. If yes. you guys have more ideas, let me know. Ketchup packets. Like what if you were to get like the little oh, ketchup yeah. packets, mayo, mustard, you know, something like that. I don't know. The possibilities are endless. Endless. Right. We, we love that. Right. We love thinking of new ways to do things. So it's very, very simple. And I'm going to take you step by step on how to do this. So the first thing you need is some vinyl. And I don't have a pattern for you, so I instead put together this. So you okay. can take some notes. I know some of you screenshot keep three notebooks. Screenshot. Or screenshot. Or take exactly. a picture. <laughs> and so notes. this what are notes? one, <laughs> this, this is, so a pocket is made of two pieces, right? You have your front and your back. But the front needs to be a little bit smaller than the back. So I cut vinyl to measure five and a half by seven inches and a four by seven. So this is just an inch and a half smaller. All so, right, cute. so you can see that. All right. So I'm going to pull this back right here and bring this down. All right. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but you've got two pieces here. Do we have like a um, wonder if maybe with the gray? Let's see if we can get a different background. Oh, or we could do the pink. I think the trick would be. Yeah, better. let's try and see okay. that. Okay, we're gonna grab a, a color here to put underneath. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's oh, great. That's much better. Yep. All right, guys. So this is five and a half by seven. This is four inches by seven. It. You can do them any size you want. This is just the basic size that I did, but you can make them bigger. Is this, is taller, this the width our vinyl want. comes in? 
if you um, order Kimber Bell? Yes. I, you know what? Let me double check. Or did you cut it down? Because wouldn't it I be easy? Oh. oh, it is cut down a little bit. I would say okay. just use it so you don't have to but cut it down. You could do. No. No. Okay. So it is cut down a little bit. But you could do it any size you want. Okay. So you just have to make sure that one, one is about an inch and a half smaller than the other one. All right. So that is step number one. Step number two is that you're going to add a trim across the top of the smaller front pocket. So you're going to so, do that before you sew it. Exactly. Yes. You do not want to do this until, well, you want to do this before you sew. Okay. Yep. And so you can do anything. Here's an idea for rickrack. I would just simply place that rickrack, have the little bumps going across the top, and you just take a single straight stitch and go all the way across, all right? And just cut it off at the edges. And you need to sew it because in yes. my mind, hot glue would just melt the vinyl. Oh, yes. that That's, and actually it, it will not stick to it at all. Okay. Like it'll melt it, but then also after it dries, it will start to come off. So okay. you definitely want to sew it, folks. Then one of the little tools that I love to have little, not, it's not really a tool, but like just a nice little item to have in your sewing toolbox, I should say, is fray check. Why fray check? Well, because you want to put it on the end so that mm -hmm. they don't fray. Exactly. Um, so you don't, you're not having to create bulk by tucking them under. Mm -hmm. I use fray check for everything. Do you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's just one of those things that's really nice to have ends of ribbons, ends of rickrack, whatever. Sometimes I use it even with an embroidery machine. Yes. And if I have some stitches that are kind of poking out somewhere, mm -hmm. I put a little dab of fray check on my finger and hold it down and it works really well. So highly recommend fray check on the ends. So you're going to sew across. Now I use, uh, well, I shouldn't say Peggy used rickrack. She also, on one of them, she has ribbon that mm -hmm. goes across. So you could do an assortment of anything. And here is this all sewn on. Sewn on. The ribbon is just stitched along the top. All right. So cute. So got those. Okay. We have the ribbon stitched across the top. And now and if you wanted to add more decoration, I mean, certainly you could add maybe a star here oh, yes. as an applique. You could do that. You know, there's can you label it with you vinyl? It. Would that stick to like if you had a vinyl cutter? Would does vinyl stick to vinyl? So if you wrote forks, oh yeah, that would be you cute. could. That yeah. would be cute. Like especially for those of you, the electronic cutters mm -hmm. or electric cutters. Or that's a great idea. Put on an embroidery embroidery machine. machine you could do that for sure great idea so um you can decorate this clear pocket however you would like all right so then the next step is you're going to place the front on top of the back and stitch around the outside and then i put on here if needed you could use a teflon foot on the sewing machine so let's talk about that for a minute so i have my front now trimmed i take my back and I'm going to place this directly on top. And then I can go around with like a wide zigzag stitch if I wanted to, of course, leaving this opening open. Or I could do a straight stitch going all the way around. You could do decorative stitches. You could do whatever you'd like. So here's an example of that. Oh, look at that colored thread. How cute that is. Yeah, the colored thread really shows up. This is a uh, pretty red. And so that's just kind of fun, right? So in fact, you could have, you know, different colors front and back if you wanted to, or you do the same color, it doesn't matter. But the important thing is, is that it's stitched together so that now that you've created a pocket. Now let's talk about feet for just a minute, Allison. Okay. So if you are using a regular foot, something that's like this on your sewing machine, it will work. Okay, it definitely will work, but Ooh, sometimes so yeah. there's a little bit of sticking on here, right? Right. So my recommendation, rather than using a regular presser foot, is to use one of two different feet. This is a roller foot. Oh, I've never seen one of those, Chris. Yeah. So it's got a roller 
yeah. on the back and on the bottom. And so it's going to really help glide over your fabric. Because is, you want that because people are seeing your stitches. So if it gets stuck, then it makes your stitches. It makes your stitches kind of wonky, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, exactly. So a roller foot or a Teflon foot works really well. So this roller foot is really good for things like silk or leather, uh, velvet, vinyl, suede, anything that has like various fabric thicknesses that you're just having trouble getting over top of the vinyl, um, a roller foot can come in real handy. Do you, can you see how that's rolling? You can see how great that would be. It doesn't get stuck. This is a roller foot, or you could use a Teflon foot, which I absolutely love. This is one of my favorite feet of all my feet. It's, it's one I use quite often. And this is going to help glide over um, that vinyl as well. So one of these is going to be per perfect for you. All right. So make sure and uh, do that. We do not have these in the warehouse right now, but if you're interested in either of these feet, you could call our Logan or Sandy store and they have them. Mm -hmm. All right. So they have them in the stores if you're interested. All right, um, that is step number three. Step number four is to attach the pockets to ribbon or cording at the top. Tie ribbons, rickrack, tool in between the pockets. So let's take a look right here. And you can see that um, Peggy had the blue rickrack as your main piece as your main banner so it's one long big piece and then what she did was she um, put three hole punches at each corner and just strung them through that so you could do the three hole punches or you could simply sew it along the top as well so either way will work just fine so cute yeah and then you just add whatever you want in between i think it's more fun to have some decoration going on here so i asked her if she would add the tool i had been to have red white and blue tool um in my <laughs> in my box of in stuff <laughs> right in your collection um, in my collection uh, this is where you can get fun and creative with buttons and ribbons. I even thought, oh, if for those of you who have like the Kimberbell oh, pole, flowers. Uh, pole flowers, wouldn't those be cute in yes. between as well? So just some different ideas with that. Very, very simple. And finally, you're going to fill the pockets with utensils, corn on the cob holders, like I oh said, gosh, straws, so napkins, cute. you name it. You just have Fun. fun. I feel fun, like fun. I need to go home and make this for my barbecue. I well, mean, there you go. Is that? How about if I get you started on the right foot and you take this home with you? Well, thanks. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> just so say cute. yes. Yes. yes now, so you're, cute. now you're stuck. Now you've begun. Right? Right. So, yeah. Yeah, Sherry says um, you could place tissue paper on top of the vinyl if you don't have the feet. Yes, you certainly can. I will. The only warning I would say about that is sometimes you have the when you pull it off, you get the tissue mm -hmm. stuck in the stitches. Then you gotta get tweezers and pull it out. So yes, it definitely can work, but um, th you will run. You could run into that issue. Okay, when doing tissue paper. I've also, in the past, I've put like a little um, piece of painter's tape on the bottom of my presser, but one of the issues with that is I find that it rolls. Mm. And so that gets a, a little bit tricky as well. So um, I definitely, if you have one of these presser feet is so much better. It's a good investment. Um, yeah. If you don't have one of the feet, if you don't want to try some of those other methods, another suggestion is to increase your stitch length. That okay. will help as well. Um, or use a walking foot can help. So, yeah, use washi tape on the bottom of your foot. You can certainly do that as well. So just a few I different ideas there. So that's it. Easy peasy, right? Oh, my gosh, that's so fun. So fun. What do you guys think? Do you see, um, can you see other suggestions, ideas of what to do? I mean, wouldn't that be fun? Like in, in 
the bathroom and you could put like your hair ties or different things. I mean, if oh. you just had that in there in this vinyl. Yeah, you I see mean, right you know, through it, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you wanted to, you could even take and connect these with a ring, a three ring, and take these mm -hmm. on trips in your suitcase. Oh, there you go. Like, you know, stick some of your stuff in there. Yeah, I just can good. I mean, those possibilities are endless. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But it's darling. For, I think it would be fun July. also if like if you were doing a birthday party and you wanted to do a really cute banner with the birthday party. Right. Um, you could even put the little um, what do you call it? The little Streamers, blow yeah. things, you know, put a whole bunch of those in one. And, you know, you just can have lots of ideas. Yeah. Laura says um, cute for little kids birthdays, right. bridal shower. Mm hmm wedding decorations and someone said yeah about the pictures earlier lisa yes. said that oh hey miss kim's here she said teen and tween bedrooms and fill smaller pockets with jewelry oh my gosh how cute oh that is a yeah that really is cute. good idea i'm even thinking i need oh. one at my desk and i can put paper mm -hmm. clips and I could see my Rachel loving that and having yes. her hair ties, like you yes. said, and a bunch, all the little stuff that they have, right? Yes. Oh, that's cute, Gloria. Do a Halloween one with trick-or-treat candy. Oh, that's cute. That's fun. Uh, Debbie says, block party item. It will go in our box. That's so cute. Yeah, that is so cute. And another Debbie says, advent calendar banner. Perfect. Oh, you guys, these are great ideas. Yes, I love it. So cute. Um, Sable kids activities, sewing notion, snack things. Yes. Mm hmm. Yep. Cute. Barb said, um, in your sewing room, you use a tape oh, measure instead of rickrack. How cute. That'd be darling. Cute, cute. I love that idea. Mm -hmm. And Deidre, yep, I'm with you there, girl. Love my Teflon foot. I do too. So it's just awesome. Um, Dawn, interesting. Maybe a lighter vinyl on front with a couple little pleats for more room in the pocket. Oh, yeah, but you could definitely make yeah. that a little bit bigger. So it came out a little you bit. You know, you could you could make that pocket even bigger. You wouldn't even have to put um, pleats in it, but you could make the pocket a little wider, have it stitched down on one side, make it stitched down on the other side, and then you have a larger opening. So right. good point there um, for sure. So... All righty. Cute. Kim said kids art projects that they bring home from school. Oh, cute. Oh, what if the kids, like, instead of having it all over the refrigerator, yes. you could, like, put them in the little pockets and have on display. So I, I think of that a lot. My mom, um, my mom would hang two frames for each of us in the hall. And it went through our whole growing up years. Oh, it was in the hall because she's a little, yeah. she's quite the decorator. Yeah. But we could put whatever that. artwork or whatever we wanted in there, our school picture or whatever. And so this would be so much easier and funner than mm -hmm. taking that frame down and switching it out. Just switching it in yep. and out. I love that. Oh, here's another good one. A s'more station. Oh, Deidre. Yum. That's I think a we great idea. Did we miss lunch? I think we did. Let's go get lunch. Good. Right. <laughs> There you go. Oh, uh, Sherry says she can't wait to try the roller foot. Yeah, it's it's a great little foot to have yes. for sure. Um, you could certainly box the corners. Mm -hmm. You're right, Marcia, and that would make it a little bit wider as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. Dee said it could be modified to use for the back seat of the car for long trips. Yes, you could put, you could put pencils crayons and th those little sudo sudo uh, sudoku go things. Books and you could put um, little candy little treats goldfish crackers you know that would be fun yes that'd be darling see you guys you're coming up with so many great ideas i love it love this and make some kimberbell appliques holiday or birthday string them together felt balls in between put a vinyl pocket in the middle with a picture of the birthday person oh, or the family cute. at the previous year's holiday oh so cute that's darling neighbor gifts there you go so cute i love it you guys Love yep. it. Um, all right. Great ideas, folks. Oh, this is why I just love being able to hang out with you all because the ideas just keep coming. Yes. I love it. Um, yep. Debbie, um, they have a black, uh, a, a block, block party, <laughs> <laughs> a block party on the 
third on our street and breakfast before the parade fourth on the next street so she can see it being used at both. So it gets saved year after year then pulled out for the Halloween block party or a second one made. Yes, I Halloween mean, string colors. it with jute or, you know. Yeah, I mean, you so could, cute. you could like string it all on something that's more neutral mm -hmm. and then just change out the ribbons, right? right? Depending on, you know, what holiday it is you're celebrating or right. something what like about, that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So cute. Excellent, you guys. Thank you so much. All so right. Cute. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Super simple. So fun. Easy peasy.